Methods of forecasting. Methods of forecasting can be broadly classified into qualitative methods and quantitative methods. Qualitative methods. A forecast value that is developed using a qualitative method will depend on certain factors such as the decision maker's instinct, knowledge, experience and emotion. Qualitative methods are generally subjective in nature and can be used to develop forecasts that will help in intermediate and long-range decisions. Some of the qualitative methods are jury of executive opinion. In this method, the opinion of high-level experts or top-level management is taken and based on this, forecast value is developed. Delphi method. In this method, the opinion of not only the experts, but also staff, respondents and every other shareholder in, involved in the process is taken. The input obtained from all these members are used to develop a forecast value. Salesforce Composite. In this method, every salesperson in an organization is expected to give an estimate of the forecast, after which the top level management will develop a forecast value based on the aggregate of all the estimates that were obtained from the salesperson. Consumer Market Survey is a method in which a survey is conducted among the target or prospective customers in order to understand the demand for a product. This method is suitable for introduction of new products. Quantitative methods. A forecast value that is developed using quantitative methods is usually developed with the help of mathematical models, historical data, and causal variables. Quantitative methods are objective in nature and can be used when the past data for an event is available. Quantitative methods can be further classified into associative models and time series models. Associative models are also known as causal models. This model assumes that the variable that is going to be forecast is associated with the other variables of the event. One of the techniques under the associative models is linear regression. In linear regression, a dependent variable is forecasted based on the values of the independent variable. Therefore, according to associative models, the variable that is to be forecasted largely depends on other variables that are associated with the event. Time series models, as the name suggests, time series models examines past data. And while examining past data, it identifies underlying patterns in this past data and forecasts a future value based on these underlying patterns. Some of the methods in time series models are simple moving average and exponential smoothing. Simple moving average is the simplest technique in the quantitative method. A simple moving average is obtained by adding up the last n period values and dividing it by n. Now, why do we use a simple moving average? A simple moving average enables the easy identification of upward or downward trend, thereby enabling quick decision making. Exponential smoothing. In exponential smoothing, a decreasing, exponentially decreasing weights are assigned for older values. And why is this done? Because it removes any effect that the data might have on the forecast. So this method helps in smoothing out the data, thereby removing any noise or effect that the past data might have on the forecasts. Measures of forecasting accuracy. There are five measures of forecasting accuracy. Mean forecast error. Mean 
forecast error gives us the deviation of the forecast value from the actual value. Mean absolute deviation. Here, the average of all the deviations in a data set are calculated to obtain the mean absolute deviation. Mean absolute percentage error measures the error as a percentage value of the forecast. Mean squared error. In this, the deviations of the forecast are calculated and squared and the average value of these squared deviations are calculated in order to obtain the mean squared error. Tracking signal acts as an indicator to identify any sort of bias in the forecasting model, thereby suggesting modifications of the forecasting model. So tracking signal basically helps us to enhance the value of the forecast that we are going to develop by setting limits for these forecasts. Therefore, any time that the tracking signal is going off the limits that are set, then the tracking signal acts as an indicator suggesting that modifications have to be made in the forecasting model to reduce the bias.